Hello and praise the Lord. It's another great evening that God has given unto us. Amen. Great pleasure to see you. Yes. I know you can see you. Yeah. And also you can see us. Mm. <laughs> yes, we can. You can see us. <laughs> it's another good uh, good evening that God has given unto us. Mm. And uh, we thank God for being with us all the day and also mm. taking care of our lives. Yeah. We should never take anything for granted. Mm. Even uh, the small protection and the protection that we see over the day, mm. up to this moment, mm. this time of the evening that you are going to sleep, it has taken the heart of God. Yeah. We cannot take it for granted. Mm. So we thank God for that. Mm. And uh, we also want to appreciate you for you have always been our companion, always giving us the company. Mm. And uh, you have always been uh, one of our best viewers on our in our channel mm. and also on our topics. Yeah. We we thank you for that. Mm. We appreciate. We also don't take it for granted. We also want to appreciate your parents for making sure that we sometimes remind you. I know my share teenagers ni kusukumwa sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you are so reluctant to watch even what uh, what do belongs to us. Mm. We are so reluctant. But with the help of our parents they have always been pushing us mm. to make sure that we are always tuned in yeah. to watch our program. So mm. Uh, many thanks to our parents. And again, we also want to appreciate the the church leadership, yeah. most of our apostles, for giving us this opportunity, mm -hmm. also for trusting us and uh, giving us a chance to minister to our teenagers. Mm -hmm. We tell, I usually tell teenagers that uh, once we were teenagers, mm -hmm. once we were like you, once upon a time, once upon a time, mm -hmm. and right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are very old. Eh? I, I will, I'm not very, old. Yes, I am not very old. old. I am still a young man. We are of age, right? <laughs> but at mm. age, we are still mm. young. We are mm. still youth. Mm. So we can remember how our teenage was. Mm. So without taking a lot of time, mm. I want to uh, request my friend Joshua to say hi to you. And also, uh, he has been praying for us. Mm. So to continue praying for us. Wow. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. I appreciate. Thank you so much for tuning in. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. So, hi there. I hope you're doing well mm. and the Lord has kept you safe and well. And thank you so much for tuning in. It doesn't matter whether you're a, a, a youth or a teenager mm -hmm. or, a, or an elderly person. Mm. We appreciate you so much for tuning in and you are a big blessing. Amen. Amen. So, uh, let us just pray then we'll begin uh, from, from here. Yeah. yeah. Let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we bless you. We honor your name this uh, time of the day that you've given unto us to be with your people on this platform, to share uh, the word of God and also to share some of the wisdom that you've given unto us mm. for such a time as now, especially for our young people. Yes, sir. Lord, we ask that you be with us and lead us through. Mm. Even as we speak, may we speak from your heart mm. and from your mind, Lord Jesus. Mm. May we not speak from our own uh, overflow of uh, thoughts and mm. understanding, but from your understanding, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Be with us and lead us through. Mm. Help us and guide us. Mm. And even to them who are watching, I pray that they will be blessed, mm. they will learn, mm. and Lord, their hearts and minds will be transformed mm. by the virtue of what we'll be sharing today. Mm. And Lord, I pray that you will touch them uh, through this uh, uh, medium or telecast mm. and help them to be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow, thank you so much, Joshua. Yes, it was welcome. such a powerful prayer. <coughs> For a couple of weeks, eh, mm. we have been able to discuss on the topic sex. Yeah. And uh, we have received uh, so many comments from uh, most of our teenagers mm. and also the adults. And yeah. They have appreciated uh, the good work that we do. Mm. But most of the things, uh, the, the most important thing is for us to give back the praises to God. Yeah. Because all the praises sure. belongs to Him. Eh? Mm. Our work here is to just to give education mm. and uh, to speak what God has put in us, yeah. not um, the things that we think of. Eh? Mm. We talk out of experience, mm. we talk out of the wisdom of God, mm. and we speak because God is speaking in us. Because mm. He who is in us, yeah. He is greater than He is very in great, the world. And He is a great and yeah. a wise person. So yes. And He speaks through us, He uses mm. us as, as faces mm. to speak and minister His mm. word. Yes. So we just give glory back to God. Mm. Because he, he is the owner of all the glory. Mm. He still owns us. Yeah. <laughs> he still owns mm. us. Mm. And we are his vessels to be used. Yeah. So we appreciate God for that. And uh, from, for, for those few weeks, mm. we first introduced sex. Yeah. And uh, we saw that it's a thing that the devil has used mm. so much. Eh? Yeah. 
mostly to the young people. Mm. They are used to sex to destroy their lives, mm. destroy their destiny, yeah. to mess them up. Mm. And uh, we have seen so many teenagers dropping mm. out of school yeah. because of a uh, knack that they didn't. Mm. They, they engaged in sex, yeah. they became pregnant, mm. and you find that they cannot con- be able to yeah. continue with, with their education. education. Yeah. And you see that is to mean mm. that part of your life mm. has been messed with. Yeah. Okay. Part of your destiny, if Part you can of your use destiny, that word. If yeah. you can use it, mm. has been messed up yeah. with, mm. right? So sex has been used by the enemy. Mm. It has been used on um, social media. Yeah. We, the right now, sex is even in our. Um, it is in our phones. It is everywhere. When you, when you, the, the most <coughs> trading music nowadays, mm. it's is talking sex about oriented. It's sex oriented even okay. our tv adverts our tvs adverts mm. are sex oriented yeah. the movies that come on our, our tv programs mm. are sex oriented so sex even, is all even right. the chats we have with our friends <laughs> the we call chats, it sex chatting those chats <laughs> uh, they are sex mm. oriented mm. so sex is all over yeah and if we are not careful mm. the devil will take advantage yeah and he's going to kill that generation yeah and uh, if the devil destroys a generation mm. i tell you the truth about yeah will be messed up all mm. of us yes again in marriages mm. sex has been destroying so many marriages mm. okay? yeah that's true so we that's need to true. speak uh, mm. against it mm. we need to speak to give the right uh, in the right information the right teachings the right teachings yeah. about it mm. because uh, teenagers will never remain to be teenagers yeah. forever mm. okay yeah one time in a few years to go like now if you are 19 years mm. old yeah Ten years to come will be twenty nine. Mm-hmm. We are, uh, are not a teenager. And, uh, <laughs> we are we yeah. already married. Yes. So if you don't have the right information about sex, mm. it it will disturb you in a, mm. in your future time mm. when mm. you are supposed to be enjoying marriage. Mm. You find that it is disturbing you. Okay. Mm. So you must give the right caution. Mm. You must give the right teachings mm. and the do's and don'ts. Yeah of sex mm. and i believe that is what we have been doing for mm. uh, for a couple of days eh? yeah and uh, the most important thing is for you to pick something mm. and let that thing help you yeah because it is the most important thing eh? mm. you should not make it uh, like uh, we're just passing time mm. or it's just because you are supposed to watch us <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah, it is not mandatory <laughs> it is not eh? yeah so uh, make sure that you get something mm. from our teachings yeah. and let it help you mm. Okay. Exactly. So last week we saw that uh, <clears throat> when you are, when you engage in sexual sin, mm. when you are still not married, mm. okay, mm. you deform your own body. Yeah. You not only sin mm. against other things, but you sin against your own body. Your own body. And uh, we were giving an example with uh, the bananas, yeah. if you can remember. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We deformed one, mm. and the other one remained in the in, in, its, a, in, uh, in its original, original shape. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So when we say that uh, when you engage in sex, mm. you deform your body, mm. you sin against your own body, mm. okay? You lose the, the value that you yeah. were supposed to have. Mm. Remember that uh, the Bible says that you were bought with a price. Yeah. So you are people of great value. Mm. So the moment you engage in sexual sin when you are still young, when mm. you are still a teenager, mm-hmm. you lose that value. Yeah. And the gaining that value again, it requires the grace of God. It requires the blood of Jesus. It yes. requires a lot of work. Mm, mm. So it is very important for you to mm. make sure that you <laughs> you remain pure. Yeah. Mm. You keep your virginity. Mm. You 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 remain mm. in the original state that God yeah. gave us. Mm. Again, we said that this body mm. is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay. Mm, so the moment you destroy this body. Mm. You, you lose the, the, the possession or the mm. praise of the Holy Spirit to yeah. in you. Mm. And the when Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit is not in you, mm-hmm. when the moment he leaves, mm. you become an empty. Yeah. And there's a lot of suffering that comes with that. Uh-huh. I think an example, good example is a, 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 a certain man of God. Though we were told it is not good to talk about uh, men of God, mm. but I believe the, the, there is a reason why that story is in the Bible. Yes, King Saul suffered so much because uh, the spirit of the Lord left him, uh-huh. and you can imagine if the spirit of the Lord leaves you, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit leaves you. Mm-hmm. What happens to you? Mm-hmm. You are an, an empty shell. Wow! You become aimless. You look for direction <laughs> even from the wrong places. And also, you create space for other things to, yeah, to come to in, come and occupy. Mm-hmm. You yeah. remember the scripture that says, mm-hmm. "When uh, one demon goes, and he comes back." Yeah. And finds no <laughs> owner, <laughs> and he finds that there, there yes. is a space inside. Yes. He mm-hmm. goes and 
comes back with the seven more <laughs> seven more seven demons more. Right? so do not allow the Holy spirit to depart from you yeah. or to get out of your body because mm. you have already destroyed your yeah. body okay mm. so sexual sin is a very very mm. very yeah. serious sin yeah a very serious sin yeah because the bible says that bad. all other sins that we commit mm. are, are outside, outside our, our body all other sins mm. but sexual sin mm. you In, sin against your own body it yeah. involves your body okay mm. so we need to run away because mm. the bible has instructed us that we free flee from <laughs> sexual immorality we run away from sexual mm. immorality yeah. okay we we run away we mm. free from sexual sin mm. because it's a bad sin yeah. it's a sin that god hates mm. and uh, it deforms you it mm. makes you unholy it mm. makes you dirty mm. it identifies your soul it identifies your spirit mm. it identifies your body it mm. makes you unclean yeah okay mm. it makes you unclean yeah. so we need to abstain keep yourself holy and fear god yeah fear god yeah fear very god, much my friend <laughs> fear god fear god uh, yes fear well, god uh, <coughs> so today we'll be talking about uh, uh something very important mm. something that uh, uh most teenagers have not understood mm. they come across it but uh, they haven't understood it well mm-hmm. and that is uh what we call soul time soul time yeah it's and also a, con- a consequence yeah of it's a consequence sexual of sin. sexual sin maybe you can start by defining what a soul tie is uh-huh. yeah maybe from from a dictionary perspective you could say uh, there's one we were reading earlier and it was saying that it is a spiritual a bonding uh-huh. a spiritual connection uh-huh. between two two people so it's like tie yes okay yeah when you think to, when you say a soul tie it oh. is because a human being is comprised of three parts uh-huh. There is the body that we see mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and then there is now the soul mm-hmm. and that is where the emotions are the the mind and all that mm-hmm. and then we we have the 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 spirit the spirit the spirit person mm-hmm. <laughs> i want to just describe this eh? let us just uh, raise it in a symbol mm. okay yeah so if you want to tie something mm. so we are saying it's a soul tie yes so it must involve two things mm. for you to tie yes so the soul tie yes and uh there is there is a body mm-hmm. part of the human the body which we have yes and then now there is the soul part mm-hmm. and then so the structure the, of the body is yes. the soul the structure of a human the flesh being there is the body uh-huh. there is the soul uh-huh. and then there is the spirit the spirit now the soul tie uh-huh. uh, according to how i understand is that the soul soul tie begins from the body mm-hmm. but then now when the bodies interact mm-hmm. the bodies come together they now come into the soul being now mm-hmm. into the soul part of the human being mm-hmm. and now that interaction mm-hmm. penetrates to the spiritual realm mm-hmm. and that's how you find now it becomes a soul tie because the whole body the soul and the spirit tied together mm-hmm. with that of another person so it's a it's a it's a connection between two souls yes a bond is formed yes that right? bond yes because right now you are saying it's a soul tie yes so if we separate the two ones eh, mm. it is tying of the souls yes in simple hands yes in it's tying of the souls the souls tie mm. but then they not only tie in the soul realm mm. they tie the whole being uh-huh. of a person uh-huh. the body mm. the 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 soul mm. and the spirit and that's where the bible says that two yeah in the in the now the confines of god of marriage yeah? yes that two shall become one, one fresh yes so that's when now in the confines of the real marriage mm. when you when you uh, when you commit sexual sin mm. <coughs> it's like these two knots eh? yeah this is a soul and this is a soul mm. so the moment you have sexual intercourse mm. with someone mm. joshua just saying that you soul tie with that person mm. your souls tie yeah and the bible says that two shall become one, one. yeah two shall become one mm. so the moment you like now for example if we just literally just explain the way it is eh? mm. this is a soul mm. and this is a soul yeah this okay? is a soul this one this uh, these are two souls eh? yeah this is a soul and this is a soul mm. so the moment you have sex with someone mm. the moment you have sex with someone mm. that premarital sex yeah. that we are condemning with Joshua with a lot of harshness that you are saying don't do it quit mm. abstain yeah. 
the mm. moment you have sex with someone, mm. there is a soul tie. Yeah. Something is tied before between you and the other person. Mm. Okay? Yeah. You become tied to someone. Mm. You become connected. Yeah. And that's why he's saying it's a bond. Mm. Okay? Yes. So the moment you, 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 you commit sexual sin, mm. you bond with someone. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you become attached to someone. Yeah. You become connected to someone. Mm. This is a soul tie. Mm. Okay? Yeah. You become tied to someone. Mm. So in everything that you do, you think about this person. Yeah. Because there is something that has been transferred mm. to you. Yes. And you see now this tie acts like a bridge. Yes. And I think a very good example yes. is that of a family. Uh -huh. Say for married people, a yes. man and a woman mm. who are married, mm. you realize that uh, if the man has to go to work yes. this one. in the morning, mm -hmm. he has to think about the wife. Uh -huh. How will, if uh, she's I to like remain that. at home, that at all. <laughs> yes. yeah, if she's to remain at home, mm -hmm. she needs to be well kept, she yes. needs upkeep. Mm -hmm. So he has to think about the wife. The wife. If he has children, mm. he has to think about the children. Children. How will they go to school? Because How they are tied. They... Yes, because there's that soul tie. Spiritually they are tied. Yes. And there are children involved. And the children are also involved in yes. this tie. So now that becomes a, 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 a bond, uh -huh. a soul tie. So it means this bond, the one yes. that is connecting them, mm. right? there is something that is passing. Yes, there is a connection. There is a connection. There is a tie that makes sure that mm. there, there is a transfer. The bridge. Yes. Now this one acts like a bridge. Yes. There is transfer of so many things. Mm. One, you transfer your spirit to that person. Yeah. And that person, mm. the other person transfers mm. his spirit to you. Yeah. And you don't know the kind of uh, spirit that person carries. Mm. You don't know the kind of destiny that person carries. Yeah. Okay? Mm. You don't know what kind of a person the other person is. Mm. So the moment you engage in sex, mm. when you are still a young person, mm. there is a very big high possibility. Mm. There is a very high possibility that mm you are going to uh, affect your destiny yeah. to affect your life mm -hmm. to affect the 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 praise the plans of god upon your life yeah. with this kind of a tie yes and many teenagers unfortunately mm -hmm. they they are not aware about what happens when you have sex mm. before marriage yes outside the confines that god desires of you yes so when you realize that uh, you are you you have a soul tie mm -hmm. What do you do? But then the question is, mm. how does the soul tie come? Mm -hmm. Number one, of course, there is the sex part. Yes. And uh, that, as we said, we, we really condemn that. We mm. don't advocate for that. The sex part. Yes. And we that is what we are that. so much against. We are against that. And we are saying it should not happen. It yeah. should never be mentioned. Mm. You see yeah. the part of the Bible that says that mm. some of these things should never be mentioned again among, among us the you, Christians. Among yes. us the Christians. Yes. And actually last week on uh, Sunday, we were speaking about these mm. things with teenagers. Eh? Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the Christian virtues. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we say that uh, it's one of the mm. Christian values that we must emulate as Christians yeah. is the part of the sexual morality. Mm. Okay? Yeah. You see, sexual morality is a value that you must emulate as a Christian. Yes. It should never be mentioned mm. yeah. inside or amongst mm. you as teenagers. Yeah. Yes. So, the other thing oh. that, you know, comes and brings us all time mm. is uh, what we call uh, vows, mm -hmm. or we could say the blood connection. Yes. You know? I know, I know some, some teenagers maybe might have done this yes. or have thought about it, mm -hmm. and even some of the older people mm. might have done it along in their lives. Yes. You realize people, that when you are young, mm. you cut yourself, mm -hmm. and uh, the other person cuts themselves, uh -huh. and you put your blood together the in a covenant. You connect that branch. Yes. And you connect and you it say, speaks. I will never leave you, mm -hmm. forever we'll be together. Mm -hmm. Even if I go to outside the country, mm -hmm. will always be united. You should always be careful for yes. the small mm. things that you do. Yeah. And you know that is a vow mm. or it's a blood mm. covenant. Yes. And that is something else that connects us mm. and makes us have a soul tie. Mm -hmm. And you realize mm. if you do that with one person, mm. go and do that with another person. Mm -hmm. You are connected to a second person. Mm. Do it with another. And mm -hmm. you know you are 
uh, you are covenanting, you are making a vow, mm -hmm. you are creating a soul tie. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, you will have several soul ties. Mm -hmm. Same as having sex. Mm -hmm. Have sex with this one person, mm -hmm. have sex with another one, yeah, and okay. another and another. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you've distributed yourself. They don't always be tied to you. <laughs> You'll find one person has strings. That's why you see some people talking, they say, no strings are touched. Uh -huh. But then some have a lot of strings attached to them, oh, yes. a lot of bridges. That's why there is a lot of confusion in yes. people's life. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, we were. And I think we must we must emphasize on that thing of uh, sexual yes. intercourse mm. and uh, how it distributes you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. The moment you have several sexual partners. Yes. Okay. Mm. Like now, I think. Um, when people are, are the teenager, mm. it is a swag to them. Yeah. Actually, it appears like you are mm. you are too strong yeah. when you have multiple, mm. uh, multiple Sexual romantic, uh, <laughs> yeah, multiple multiple boyfriends girlfriends. and girlfriends. Yeah. The more you are, it's like, you seem, it seem like you, you are seem, so powerful. Or you are the the in person, the lion of the jungle. Eh? Yes. Okay. Like you are the the strongest. You are the strongest. You are the kingpin. Eh? Yeah, but the, now the that one. is the stupidity of the highest devil. Yeah. That you should always actually be very mm. careful of. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because the more partners you have, mm. the more redistribution or the more souls that you tie yourself to, yeah. the more you destroy your destiny, mm -hmm. the more you confuse yourself. Yeah. You become confused. Yes. You don't know what you want because mm -hmm. inside you, you are carrying many people. Yeah. You are carrying Joshua, you are carrying, um, uh, you are carrying uh, Mike, you are carrying, um, who else? You are carrying Brian, you are carrying, carrying Brian, Kevin, you are carrying Kevin, John you are carrying John Tay, <laughs> you are carrying Asha, you are carrying uh, Ashley, you yeah. are carrying there are so a many lot people, of people in you. Yeah, and you remember last week we said mm. that uh, what creates that tie yes. is, you know, we carry, carry life in ourselves. Oh, yes. And by virtue of us having a semen mm. or sperms, mm. that's where now the infusion comes in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because when you have sex, definitely you'll have an ejaculation. Mm. You might have it, uh, I, I, I'm sorry to come this way, but you might have it inside or outside, mm. but it doesn't matter. Mm. But as long as there is that mingling, yes. there is that coming together. Yes. You know, sex is, I, I heard somebody say it is sacred. Yes. Sex is sacred. It was meant for procreation. Yes. yes. Sex is very sacred. Mm -hmm. And once you do it outside marriage, yes. you're now breaking the the rule mm -hmm. of sex. Yes. And now that one now ties you and to it that. And it is person. the rule of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you're tied and forever you're tied. And the Bible is very clear that yeah. you shall become one fresh with that person. Yes. So the moment you become mm -hmm. one fresh with mm -hmm. many people. Yeah. Many people now, become the effects, part of you. Effects now start showing. Mm. And one of the effects that I really fear mm. is that you, your destiny is lost. A very, a very sorrowful thing. Yes. You lose your destiny. Very bad. You lose yourself. <coughs> yes. And that is, it is very bad. And Actually, you know, it is not very bad. It mm. is very dangerous. Yes. Mm. Very dangerous. You realize a destiny is lost because that plan that God had for your life, mm -hmm. you are now disconnecting from the plan of God. Mm. Because uh, let's assume God meant mm -hmm. for for you to get married to, to let's say Mary, uh -huh. but you've connected yourself to another person, Catherine, by the name Catherine. Uh -huh. And you realize God's plan for you was Mary, but you've connected yourself to Catherine, uh -huh. and you have a soul tie. Uh -huh. Now, before you come out of that confusion, get yourself to Mary. You have already lost time, uh -huh. you've lost resources, uh -huh. you've maybe had an, a child there, and Mary uh -huh. might not accept you another child with somebody else. Not even the child. Yeah. Remember the transfer of things. Yes, transfer of things. Uh -huh. And now you realize that is a destiny lost. Uh -huh. Now, you connected yourself with Catherine. Uh -huh. Catherine, uh, destiny, Catherine's destiny was to become a doctor. But now she has, uh, uh, she's pregnant. Uh -huh. And now she's pregnant, she cannot continue with school. Uh -huh. You are a father now. And now you are not to become a father right now. Your resources are to later be channeled to you becoming an engineer. Uh -huh. But then now you are a father. You have to channel your resources to the family. Uh -huh. What happens? 
a destiny is lost. Yeah. Becoming a father at the wrong time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that destiny now is changed. Mm -hmm. You are now short changing your destiny uh -huh. for the wrong person, mm -hmm. not the person God intended for you. Uh -huh. You see? So destinies get changed, mm -hmm. destinies get destroyed, mm -hmm. and you realize with the confusion of the time, the transfer of uh, of uh, spirits and all that causes you to lose a lot mm -hmm. in life. There is this thing that you have said the when you are supposed to get married to Mary, yeah. then you come and have us sex with Catherine. Yes. And who unto you if you have sex with another person, mm. Josephine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. If you have another, another sex with another person, Josephine, mm. or if it's a girl, you. Yeah. Or a man, eh? mm. you have sex with Josephine, mm. and you don't know the destiny of Josephine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. then you don't know the destiny of Catherine, mm -hmm. and you don't know the destiny of Mary. Yeah. And the person who God intended you to marry was Mary. Mm. Then these things that you have transferred, mm. of you have, um, because we send the the bond now becomes yeah. like a bridge. Eh? Mm. So this bridge transfers things mm. from you to Catherine, and, and you from you to, to you to Josephine. Yeah. Then from Josephine to you. Yes. Oh, and you, if Josephine was meant to be a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or Catherine or, or Josephine was demon-possessed. If... Oh, and to you, <laughs> thank yes. you for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and to you, if Josephine mm. was demon-possessed. Yes. Oh, and to you. Mm. And also, Catherine was mm. demon-possessed. Yeah. You are going to transfer the demons mm. from Catherine to you. Yeah. Remember you are pure mm -hmm. and God had a good plan for you, mm -hmm. had a good purpose for your destiny yeah. with Mary. Mm -hmm. So the demons that you, you, you get from Catherine mm -hmm. to yourself, yeah. you then transfer them to Mary. The person the adventure, that, you come to marry. The later. person that you want to marry later. Yes. The person that God mm -hmm. intended you to marry. Yes. So mm -hmm. you end up transferring those demons mm -hmm. but then to the right person. Imagine you transferring demons mm. from somebody else to yourself. To yourself. Yeah. So now we need you, to be you're demon careful. possessed. You become demon possessed. Now you get a share of it. Yes. Mm. You get a share of it and you also give a share of yourself. <laughs> There's somebody who was explaining this yes. and uh, said that mm -hmm. uh, having a soul tie mm. or uh, getting into premarital sex yes. is like you having a cup of water uh -huh. that is full uh -huh. before uh -huh. you have sex. Yes. But then the moment you start having sex, mm. you start spilling a bit of that water, mm. which is you. Uh, somebody explained to me mm -hmm. something which I thought is very important. Yes. You having a soul tie, uh -huh. for example, mm. let's assume mm. this is you. Yes. Yeah. This is me now. Yeah. Yes. This is me. Mm. This is either you or me. <laughs> very pure, not touched by anyone. Uh, we are full. Yes. And we have our cock. Uh -huh. you know? so, we have our... The cock is We are there. sealed. Yes, oh, we man. are sealed. We have the you know? seal. But then, you starting to have sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. you first break your boundaries. Uh -huh. You the first cock. remove the seal. Yes, uh -huh. remove the seal, uh -huh. the boundary. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. And then little by little, uh -huh. you go distorting yourself. Uh -huh. So it's, now you break the seal. Uh -huh. When you break the seal, yes. now your virginity is uh -huh. compromised. Oh my. Yeah, very no longer virgin. Yes, you've opened up yourself uh -huh. to the people. Uh -huh. So as you are saying, we have uh, <coughs> Madame Catherine, uh -huh. right? Yes. The first person you have sex with uh, you is distribute Catherine. yourself. Wow. You distribute yourself yeah. to Catherine. Yes. And also Catherine. Catherine distributes herself to you. Uh -huh. And uh, you remember the chemistry you were doing back in school. <laughs> yes. The potassium permanganate and the sodium, all that, mm. when mixing with water. Mm. But then you'll get there. Mm. So, Catherine, mm -hmm. have sex with her, uh -huh. you give her part of yourself. This is Catherine. Yeah. That half is Catherine. of you is in Catherine. Yes. Yes. And half of you yeah. has been shown to you, to Catherine by you. Yes. Uh -huh. Then, meet with Josephine. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself, you are the big person, yeah. you are the big man, you are the big boy, you are the bazoo. Mm. Distribute yourself to, to Josephine. Oh my. A part of yourself mm. is given now to Josephine. Yes. Look where you are now. You are still emptying yourself. You You're are becoming empty, empty slowly without knowing. Slowly by slowly. Mm -hmm. And destroying your future and your destiny. Yes. And yet you have not met Mary. Yes. Then now, this is another lady you meet with. Mm -hmm. Let's call her... Akinyi. Akinyi. Yes. Yeah. Sorry for using names. If that is your name, 
kind of forgivers, it is not with bad intention. Oh, we yes. are just explaining. Yes. Yes. So when you meet with a king, mm -hmm. you also give a part of yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah. There you are. Mm -hmm. This You're is where you are now. You're almost empty, my friend. You're almost empty. Uh -huh. Then you still haven't met Mary. Mary. Mary is still there, uh -huh. waiting for you, uh -huh. waiting for a day uh -huh. when you'll meet. She's keeping herself well. And you're almost empty. And you're almost empty. Uh -huh. But then, you still go for rounds with other ladies. Uh -huh. You go distributing yourself. Uh -huh. you go distribute. To another lady, another yeah. one. Those are the multiple partners we are talking yeah. about. Multiple partners. Yes. So when finally you come to meet with, with Mary, uh -huh. God forbid, uh -huh. You are now you are now empty. Empty. Or rather, you have very little to give to her. Mm -hmm. this is and Mary has kept herself very well. Mary, Mary is so free. So yeah. She has kept herself. Yes. You are there destroying See? other girls, other men. Now sharing yourself. This is the only thing you have mm. to give to Mary. So unfortunate. If you are talking about and the love, destiny of God, eh? yes, was supposed for you to be full, yeah, and sealed, yes, sealed, not tampered with, yes, so that you can only share with Mary, yes, and, and Mary has kept herself, yes. Mm -hmm. You realize if it was on matters love, mm. this is the only kind of love mm. that you can give to your wife. Oh my, how unfortunate will mm. it be when you meet with her mm. and you're empty? Mm. You have planted all your seeds. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Because we said it is a transfer. Yes. You transfer to someone, mm. then the same people transfers back to you. Yes. <clears throat> the demons that they carry, yeah. they put them in you. Mm. Okay? Yes. And the demons that you carry, you also transfer them to yeah. you. And remember now, the only thing that is uh, b between water, the water and the seal, mm. is only air. Yes. It's only air. Mm. And that could be, remember we said, if a house has no owner, mm. And a demon goes and comes back. Mm. They will come, seven of them. Yes. Just imagine, Catherine has deposited some demons. Mm. Uh, yeah. This one was, uh, say, a king has also deposited some demons. Mm. Joseph also has deposited some demons. Yes. Now meet with Mary, mm -hmm. and you start mingling. Yes. You give her all the demons. Your demons, mm. and she's there. Both of you become possessed. Yes. Because you shall always become loss. one. So you are one with all these people. Yeah. Then you come and unite with Mary. Mm -hmm. You give Mary all the demons that you had uh, taken from other ladies and other boys. Yeah. Because we send it's a transfer of things. Mm -hmm. Then the moment you it becomes the right time for you to get married or to marry, you never enjoy marriage. Yeah. You never get to enjoy marriage. Marriage becomes confused. Yes. Your wife never gets to enjoy herself in marriage. Yes. She never enjoys your com company. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can only do is to keep thinking how about this? all these others because you gave them the larger share of yourself. Mm. Now, that's where we now talk about addictions. Yes. Sexual addictions. And I think the moment now you're in marriage, mm. the soul time now starts uh, when you start thinking about Josephine, Mary, Akini, yeah. and uh, Otieno. Mm. That's it now the tie that you're talking about. Yes. You tied yourself with those people, mm. and now the right time has come for you to get married or to marry. Mm. You start now thinking about this. Yeah. When you are about to make love with your wife, mm. um, you now start thinking about a king, yeah. a tieno, a Actually, kiri. it gets so bad because, mm. well, you're, you'll be growing, and one day you'll become married people. You'll become a father and a and mother. And it's good to tell you the truth, yes. right? Yes. When you'll be now wanting to enjoy your wife, mm. The people will be coming to your mind as you're enjoying your wife. Yes. Is Catherine. Yes. Josephine. Mm -hmm. Akini. Yes. And the others. Yes. Your wife can never. They will always be <coughs> fighting mm. rangos in the family. Mm. You realize you are obsessed with the other girls. And it's a spiritual thing. Yes. So it uh, it, it disturbs you spiritually. Mm. Yeah. It fights you spiritually. Mm. Yes. And also, mm. you need now to get a solution for yes. all this. Yeah. And you know, destiny is lost. Mm. You are manipulated. Yes. In the soul tie level, mm. the, 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 if it was demon possession, mm. they'll always come to manipulate you whenever you are with your wife. Yes. Uh, bringing images, mm. wrong images of other girls. Yes. Now in your mind, you're thinking you're having sex with a kina, a kina. these others mm. instead of your wife. Yes. And uh, things get distorted. Mm. Your thoughts are distorted. 
you're confused, mm. you're manipulated, mm. your dream life is also in chaos. Yes. Because uh, the only people coming to your mind are the people you're having you sex messed with. Up with. Yeah. Yes. Your imaginations is just filled with all these others. Mm. Yeah. So, <coughs> but now the question we can ask ourselves is, mm. <coughs> now that this has happened, yes. you have found yourself, you're a teenager, mm. and you are at this level. Yes. At this level, mm. what happens? You have shared yourself with so many people. Yeah. You have participated in sex. Yeah. You have acted in this act that we are, uh, we are condemning yeah. in a very harsh ones. Yeah. You have done sex. Mm. Yes. Mm. Now, what should you do? What next? What is the remedy? Am I finished? Yeah. Are you done with now that you are in this level? Can I get out of it? Yeah. Can you break yourself from all this? Can you disconnect yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, first and foremost, mm. what you need to realize is that we have Jesus. Oh, yes. Yeah. We now have that Jesus. Is the remedy now. Yeah. Wow. We have Jesus, mm. who is God. Yes. And there are very many scriptures to back up that mm. says that once God has forgiven you, actually, John 3 16, mm -hmm. for God so loved us. Oh, yes. Yeah. He loved us so much mm. that He gave Himself for us. Mm. So that no one, sorry, so that you will not perish. Mm -hmm but you'll have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. you know? That is the first scripture that you can deal with. Mm -hmm. And there are many other scriptures. Another scripture in uh, 1 John chapter yeah. 1, verse 9, eh? mm -hmm. that says that if we confess our sins, yes. if we confess our sins, mm -hmm. that God is so faithful yeah. and just, mm -hmm. and he will forgive us all our sins. Yes. And another one in the book of Hebrews, I think Hebrews, eh? mm -hmm. that says that he will forgive our sins mm. and he will never remember them again. Yeah, he will remember them no more. He'll God will them never no remember them. But then, uh, when you go to God, you go to God in confession. You don't just wait and uh, say that God will just forgive me. Yeah. No, you, you must do something. Yeah, you must act now. You must realize in your mind that mm. I am in a time, mm. I cannot uh, do anything. That I is am, acceptance. Eh? Yes, mm. that is the first thing you need to do, is that you realize that this is a problem yes. that you need to deal with. Mm -hmm. And you have to go to God. And you accept. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you go to God, go to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Don't go to him as a relative or as an <laughs> uncle. You're going to God as your father, you know, as, <laughs> as the prodigal mate. son did, <laughs> yes. you know. The prodigal son went and said, mm. Father, I am sorry, forgive me. Yes. I have sinned against you and mm. against God. Yes. And that was a practical example mm. between an earthly son and mm. an earthly father. Mm -hmm. How much better when you go to God uh -huh. and you go tell him, God, I am sorry, I know I have sinned against mm -hmm. uh, your word, I have mm -hmm. sinned against you, mm -hmm. and I have done this, mm -hmm. Lord, I ask that you forgive me. Yes. Yes. That is repentance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Repentance. Mm -hmm. Repent. And you know, we said re repenting is turning around, a total turn around. Mm -hmm. It is not a, a 30 degree turn, then back to three sin. It is a one and one hundred and I think one hundred and eighty degree no, turn. Three hundred and sixty. It's a three sixty. It's a no three sixty is turning and then no. A three sixty is around yeah, turn. around turn. Yes. One eighty is this. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, yes, exactly. <coughs> you take a three hundred and sixty degree turn mm. back to God. Yes. Yes. So the whatever we have just discussed with Joshua, we've been telling the truth. Yeah. The truth of what is happening in our society. The truth of what is there, yeah. without hiding anything mm -hmm. in black and white. Yeah. So just know the truth, and that truth mm -hmm. will set you free. Yeah. The most important thing is for you to practice yeah. what you have been teaching. Mm -hmm. Don't just feel good that we have taught you, yeah. but feel good that you are practicing mm -hmm. what we have taught you. Because yeah. the word of God says that be the doers of the word, mm -hmm. not only the hearers of the word, but yeah. we must be the doers of the word of God. Yeah. So we, we finish on that, yeah. believing that we have helped someone. Mm -hmm. And if you find yourself that you're in this bondage, yeah. you have a tie with someone, mm -hmm. please feel free. Yeah. Come and talk to us. Mm -hmm. Come and uh, go and talk to a, 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 a servant of God. Yeah. Let them pray for you. Mm -hmm. Let them break that bond. Yeah. Let them break that tie mm -hmm. so that you can be free. Yes. So that you can be able to enjoy your youth inch mm -hmm. and also your future yes. life. And also, yes. You'll be able to get your destiny mm. in the right way mm. and uh, with the right person. Yes. So sexual sin, abstain. Mm. Yeah. Please abstain. Yeah. Say abstain. no to sexual sin. Yeah. Say no to it. Mm. Even if your body feels like you really want it, mm. please 
avoid that. Yes. Abstain and rebuke mm. those feelings. Yes. Because we have gone through that. Mm. We were once teenagers. Mm -hmm. We went through those things. Mm. They are very normal in our body. They must be there, actually. Yeah. If you feel them, don't feel like you are so abnormal. Yeah, those sexual feel feelings are, are, yeah, are very feelings, normal in our body. The urges. Yes, yeah. those, that urge is very normal in our body. So whenever you feel them, don't let them control you. Yeah. Because the word of God says that we need to bring everything. Yeah. Bring our thoughts. Our thoughts. Our minds to captive. Captive. Yeah. To of obey the word, the word of God. God. Yeah. Okay? Yes. To obey the word of God. And remember, there is no temptation here on earth that is mm. so new. Yeah. That has never happened to any human being. Yeah. You're not the only person. Mm. People are there. People are being tempted. Mm. But... It, it now depends on how you take it. Yeah. If you are not able to control it, it controls you, it leads you to sin. Yeah. Okay? And the consequences of sin is? Death. And we don't want you to die when you're still young. Mm. Death of so many things. Death of your destiny, the death of your future, we don't want it to die. Yeah. We want it to remain alive mm. and also bearing fruits in every part of your life. Mm. And before we conclude, I would want to make a short prayer for you so that... Uh, when we meet next time, uh, we'll be at a good position to continue. Yeah. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for our viewer today. We want Jehovah God to speak a blessing to them. Mm. Lord, we declare a blessing upon their lives, Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we want to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. If there is any of our teenagers who have messed with their lives of God, mm. who have involved themselves in any kind of sexual sin, my Father, mm. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, because you are one saying that Lord, if we confess our sins, O oh God, you are faithful enough to forgive us, O oh Father Jehovah God. And Lord, you shall not remember our sins anymore. Mm -hmm. Lord, we confess our sins, O oh God. If there is any sin that Lord, we have committed, any sexual sin, O oh God, that may want to bring our destiny down, Jehovah Father. We pray that, my God, you may forgive us. I pray that you may forgive that teenager, O oh God. The you, Father, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus came to to cleanse our sins, O oh God, to wash away our sins, my Father. I pray that, my God, the blood of Jesus may speak to that uh, teenager, O oh God. The blood of Jesus may, may wash away the sins of that teenager, Jehovah God, and bring him or her back to you, Jehovah. Just like the prodigal son came back to you, and Lord, you embraced that, uh, that uh, and the, 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 the prodigal son was embraced by the father. Lord, you gave us the preference, O oh God, to call us you our father, and Lord, we became your sons when we received Jesus. Father, I pray that, my God, you may embrace back that teenager, and Lord, we'll keep building that relationship, keep building that uh, a fellowship with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I speak a blessing unto them. I declare a blessing to our teenagers. Amen. I pray for their destiny. I pray Amen. for their future, Amen. and I declare that their future is blessed. Amen. This, Lord, we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Shalom. Have a great night. A wonderful one. Yes. We meet again next week. The same praise, same time. And make sure you invite a friend to yes. watch our program. Share, share this. And share, share whatever we are doing. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. 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 bye.